What can I help you with? You're back. Oh, we'll get to what happened to Barrett. Ah, ah, ah. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways, but no. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Your humor is ill-timed. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grab-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them...
hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Wanna try fixing that computer? Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. Only managed to scrounge up one. alive. I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand, okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. My contract's up with Works for me. I'm not fussy about it. Right. I'll get to work. Hello, Captain.
Perhaps n I have things I wish to discuss with you when you have time. Captain, Hello. we have not yet had a moment to I talk about what happened to you. To see that in you all my time amongst the stars, I have cycle. never heard of such a thing. What do you think that place was? It seems fitting that you were the one to discover it. Certainly it is too soon to speculate about who built it, but... How can we not? <laughs> After what you experienced, do you have any insights? It is hard to argue, but the implications... I am sorry. After what you have been through... I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any... A cynical person might suggest that in itself could be a side effect. But for now, we will just assume you have been very fortunate. The artifacts that temple this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are... This is all so much bigger than we realized. You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward. To learn more about what is at work here. I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? 
Nah. Nah. I'll, I'll be all right. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, oh, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said... I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was bit. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? Yeah, just uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is. Yeah, I'll be. All Let me know when you want to head. Think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. <clears throat> Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. You got it. Catch you on the... Causing trouble. Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination. Probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? Retinas are pointing away from the console. Towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts.
require my assistance. certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? No exaggerations this time. Hmm. Holy shit. You actually found me. I do not understand. Is Barrett being held hostage or not? Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? I should have bought drinks. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. <laughs> Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? I'm afraid that's not an option. He has been more entertaining than most hostages. Yeah. I hope so. I'm still willing to talk. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Very well, some good friends, it seems. Very well. You're all free to go. It's been a real pleasure, Matsura. Really. And good luck out there with all the, you know, hurting people and taking their money. encourage you to return. You're lucky the boss is so generous. or intimidate. Perhaps it depends on your reason for being here. We're fortunate that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we not? We spend a lot of time in space. Barrett, we, we sure do. Sick. Well, some of us <clears throat> were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. 
actually Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, had the vision. <laughs> Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? It doesn't really matter to me. We never get too attached to ships. Yep. Plus the frontier is a constellation. You don't want to get dragged down in the gravity. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. Of course. I will admit what I'm proposing involves a little more cloak and dagger than the usual <laughs> business meeting. But we both know that's how the game plays sometimes. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. As long as the drinking comes after the negotiation, or whatever this is going to entail. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, You've given everyone at the Lodge quite a scare. That's distressing, but to be expected, I suppose. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Well, good. I'm pleased to hear that. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. Hmm. Perhaps. It's just that... Yes! Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. I'm not frustrated. I'm fascinated. Think about the significance of this res Who was this wondrous structure built to- Perhaps. We'll need more data to be sure. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end all be- Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this. Well, oh yeah, yes, of course you are. I was speaking of the power you've acquired. Uh, this is all scientifically speaking, of course. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is whatever might be. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. 
I hope it feels that way for you, too. <sighs> Where to begin? I've been from one end of the settle system, but I've never, and I mean, who built it? Why? Next time. We offer only the best care in New Atlantic. Welcome to our life. All right. What? Well, you certainly do need a dog. All right. We'll... I can't say you... Here you are. All right. Well, you've certainly come to... Take care of yourself. Need something but don't have a lot of time? No problem. Be seeing you. Let me know. You won't find a larger array. Of I'm sure you'll be set. Glad you came in.
Smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But we need to stop by the Stroud Eprin offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. The effort to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end to what can be accomplished, and there are the credits to be made. Security cares far more about what you take with you when you leave Neon than what you bring in. Don't stop unless you're told to do so. There's a bounty on you. Get that cleared as soon as possible if you know what's good for you. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bay... Clearly the intent is to get us into the Astral Lab. Mr. Strout, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Stroud, you are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glory. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such pa- Who was it again, Walter? The founder of Com- Sebastian Banks. His final address before he disappeared. I merely found a group of- I have not been part of Constellation as long as some, but from what I have seen, I would not call that an inaccurate description. Can we move on? Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, 
alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks. Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or. But if you're here for something a little more. Ex Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for. Str I like to call it an exquisitely crafted. Tr here, and take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit ex... The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP. We do strive for setting... Not currently, I'm afraid. Unless you'd like to purchase it on their behalf. I'm afraid Neon's secure. I hear you. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. Excellent choice. The sky's... And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, how unfortunate. Sure. Come back soon. Howdy. Information isn't you. Easy, friend. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were. They're just kids having fun.
neon is for indulgence and decadence. I'm both disgusted. Impressed. Don't you have something better to do? My time. What the hell do you want? If you think for one moment that I'd harm even a single hair on my own brother's head, well... You'd be right. But in this case, I think we'll just start out with a long talk, spend time catching up. I want to find out why the hell he decided to stab me in the back. Let me put it to you this way. Whatever happens, I promise you won't be made an accessory after the fact. Unless you keep asking about it. Not that it's any of your business, but yes, I'm the administrator of Neon. Actually, there are a lot of perks that come with the job, but do you want to know my favorite? One snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions get thrown off of the upper platform. <laughs> I love that one. Next time, don't bother me unless it's important. I never had the patience for computer systems. Once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're... taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. You don't want to pick a fight with I can me. see your mind racing. Are you gonna let me work, or are you gonna keep bothering me? My mother wanted me to be a doctor, sir. A doctor. Huh. All right. You're just some useless stargazer. You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. How are the preparations coming? To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. 
see you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Are they? <laughs> code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. I'm busy drinking. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? This'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Stroud, you look different in person. 
Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting? Making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... All right. You win. Hand over the money. This... thing... is all yours. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Stop right there! You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon, am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? I'm listening. I hear you. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Sorry, but I can't. That's it, we're done. The more I will not aid you in this. You're not gonna make it. Hold her right there. You're under arrest. I can't remember if I already searched you. I think I got them. What do you call them? Corns? Yeah, I got corns. Save it for someone who gives a damn. People joke and say those Varun sound Asa. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment.
What is it? What? Have you lost your mind? Is there even a mind to lose? You cannot possibly mean that. What is there to say? It is true. The things we face are far beyond what most have to deal with. I do know that. I am trying to look past what you have done, but it is difficult. I am going to do my best to get past this and continue. Then you should turn around and walk away. It would do you well to reflect on how you arrived here. Hmm? Yes? Indeed I do. All yours. Mm hmm Goodbye. Well, mixed up with a syndicate of gang stuff. Yeah? Owen told me not to worry about it. Well, there you go. Hoping to get welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? It's ridiculous. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. I hear Slayton's had some major layoffs recently. Never a good sign. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter! Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me can- Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. Wait, there's people in the room up ahead. 
Closing the shutters. Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you.
You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. Hmm. You do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes, I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think... It would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You're damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Slayton took it all, probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why- Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Thank you. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. Let's talk more back at the ship.
We'll talk back at the ship. Bye. I... business. It's you. Ship's all good to fly again. Okay, no problem. Is dead. I guess we can call that a win. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me.
That's not any type of ship I recognize. You see much, but our ship is created from a power beyond your understanding. Its semblance to your own vessels only aids us in masking our presence. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge, or drown in it. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. You really want to risk a straight fight with an enemy we know nothing about? We can wait Get no us longer. Out of here. Prepare yourselves for oblivion. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left. Checked.
Starboard. Never heard of them. How is Neon? Are you... Are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. And call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony, finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life, or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Or what Walter said, they were acting like a parent. Worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can. Including some way to fight them, if necessary. Until then, we stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Sorry. Oh. I was lost in the memory for a moment there. You I had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. I'd like to talk. Sarah's the best possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. Remember, you're representing all of us out there. Yes, Any day you make it through is a victory yes. in my book. Back to it then. Can I help? I'm glad you're back. Let
I have something I need to discuss with you. Remember our last conversation when you told... Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through constant... Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my... Aja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Con... Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget... Ah, she absolutely... Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation. <laughs> now that you mention it, you're probably right. Honestly, it wasn't... Exactly. For me, there was no Oh, I find that sort of... I'll take that as a compliment. You know, all this... No, she retired. Living on Pori... Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, <coughs> perhaps we could pay... Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon cop. You see... I... If you knew about... Please... service captain.
stop by the waterfall on this trip? I could use a few moments to unwind. Yeah, what is it? Fine by me. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves <laughs> Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those... I'll be here. So long. spends a fortune to maintain the lodge, but I'd say it's worth every credit. Look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The star... Mateo, are you having a crisis? What if the Starborn are right? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. This is serious. It could be the most significant threat that constellation... I'm sorry. I'm not trying to... I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us... Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, <laughs> but I need hands won't be going alone. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. Majority of citizens here in New Orleans. Welcome to. All right. What can I do for you? Well, you certainly do need. All right. We'll clean things. We'll get you feeling bit good as new. Well, you've certainly come to. May you remain in good health. What do you want? 
Bye. Hello. Anything I can help? Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. I'm sure you can find something you like. Okay, no problem.
Yes, I am currently engaged in the completion of my assigned task. Glad you're in the fleet. If you weren't, I would have killed you all. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. up when the bond sets to the actual ship. Good. A couple more tricks to the defense systems call logic, and we should be up and running. Let's get it right this time. My last run with this model T was enough for me.
long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. Glad you're in the fleet. Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. assistance. Greetings, Captain. I have no objections. Setting up some software. Want to test the computer over there? If you could just give my ingenious software a test run. Help Vladimir code up this system the first time. Lend a hand? Just grab a wrench. Should be quick. Well, I'm certain that wasn't supposed to happen. Check with Vladimir. Duh. Still need to lift another set today. Been dragging. Shoulder stiff. You call her the wrong wires. Station showing red. Invoking the guilty creed. Stations all. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. Should you require my presence in the future, you know where to find me. You've got something for me? Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow. Runs it like a palace of novelties. And he's got a new prize in his collection. Reached out through my hand-to-hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Barrett with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. Catch a smile out there.
Hey, Captain. Can I talk with you for a bit? Who let you on board? But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Oh yes, the rock. He's not selling it. But if you want to hear him laugh in your face personal... Yeah, we'll check with him directly if you don't mind. Go on then. Dusty. Dusty. Let's talk. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Got work to do. aware we had the visitors. Vadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Tempting. I do love showing off, but my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. Reverse psychology won't work on me. Just ask poor Vadek. No, no, some things need to be just for me. You don't know what you're talking about. No, no, for once I have... You know, if it were up to me, we wouldn't let people on the ship talk to Petrov. His gloriousness will guide you. The great thing about being the captain is no one can tell you that you're wrong.
Oh, you know, people say he's mad. The guards here are bounty hunters, smugglers, or salvagers from the fringes. A lot of shark smiles, you know. Yeah, yeah there's alien creatures up there. Ship. Enjoy your time on board the myself. Well, but who wants to be so dreadfully dumb? It's done.
<laughs> this isn't going to be a problem. Done! Stand down, everyone! Damn it, Petrov. I was just getting warmed up. What if we leave a few things here and make a second trip? Hey, stranger. Let's chat sometime, okay? Anything I can help you with, Captain?
Some people think of life as this delicate, struggling thing. But as I see it, life itself is one of the toughest forces there is. Eyes gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Noel, Starboard came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left. Said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! <laughs> That starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! Damn it! Vladimir's right. We need to get the artifacts packed up, and that means holding off the starborn. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Look, I get it. But our best chance is staying here. I don't know how long it's going to take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes, if my hands can stop shaking! If you're going to leave, I'll be barricading the door on your way out. Right back at you! I think I could live on coffee if I had to. There's nothing. I'm sure you already know. Only the finest collection.
You know, just by walking. Only the finest collect. It takes a strong mind and a good eye to sell art. Hi there! Thanks for stopping in. I can take care of Transact. Oh, please, take... Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt might be- If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile! Some work done? Hey, what can I do for you? Okay, no problem.
you should inspect your ship for... Okay, no problem. Alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. No tears for the old. Got the others to. Oh, thank heavens. You're all right. Bad habit. <laughs> now, let's get a move on. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can move right away. But I'll... Dad! The others are here! We're going to be okay! I really messed up on this one, friend. Usually the last guy to get outdrawn. Back at you. I don't think I'm going to be moving around too much for a bit, uh, but I'll be all right. I'll thank the stars beyond.
Barrett. Barrett. It's Sarah. Barrett. We're going to keep going. We'll finish this adventure you started. It's okay. Be at peace. He's... Oh, he's gone. We can't change anything now. I appear to only be seriously damaged instead of critically damaged. That you are likewise relatively undamaged. It went <clears throat> quickly after you left. We held him off while Noel escaped through the basement. There's a door. door in the basement. Thank God, thank God, thank God. I do, but where do we take them? Oh, there you are. I wasn't expecting you to run to the eye. You! You're not getting the artifacts. <laughs> yes. Let's see if they can slip from my grasp this time, shall we?
You're back. Thank the Blackest Sea that you and Noel are safe. And the artifacts? The Lodge. The guilt ridden's prayer. That's all that matters. So, they got us. But we haven't lost everything. We... Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the Eye are not secure. Just means he's playing the waiting man's game. He'll be back once we've done all the work of collecting the other pieces. The hunter, he, um... He, he probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Hope your walls are high, just in case the Starborn get lucky and find the spot to do the breach and storm. Here. Keep the artifacts safe. I guess... we'll meet back at the lodge after? need a new home.
How are you, Dusty? Need something? Look at this world. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. It's done. Let's head home. I have a feeling today's going to be a great day. really isn't the time. I know. Look, we all feel like we've been kicked into the ground a million times over, but I think I have something. I'm serious. If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that? Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus's speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look. Words can hold as much power as any weapon. I think... But why not go with a little intuition? I don't want to dismiss your skip. I'll meet you over there. But we have not been attacked again. Mm -hmm. I've been lost to... I have things for you. Hey. Fishing for a handout, eh?
Please refrain from engaging in any criminal activity. Yes, exactly. It's like, like, Keeper Aquilus. Can we have a moment? Ah, oh, Mateo. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Oh. Yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? We've lost people, Keeper. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. And these Starborn, I take it they're different from the people of the settled systems? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought. We enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. I understand you have doubts. But walk with me just a little bit further. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum. His addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. Oh yes, typically. But there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I've visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk. And if you need directions to the Enlightened, they have a branch in the well helping the poorest citizens of New Atlantis find a better life for themselves. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions.
It's a shame House Varun abandoned their embassy. Mm, I bet we could have learned a lot from one another. I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90%. Welcome to UC Distribution. Yes. You're always welcome back. If you don't mind a bit of a wait.
Right, Captain. Where are we headed next?
the fact that you risked your life. Then I'll say it again, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. My only wish is that my rescue hadn't come at the expense of Barrett's life. He was one of my closest colleagues and a cherished friend. <laughs> oh, he always knew how to make me laugh. I don't have to. I blame myself. Our charter at Constellation has always been to analyze the unknown, but rarely at the expense of our members' lives. <laughs> Yet all the while, I've been cavalier about taking risks and... <sighs> of course I can. Damn it! Why is this happening to us? We're explorers. Our curiosity pushes us to seek answers to life's mysteries. It's one of the core traits. Yet in return, this is what the universe... No! I refuse to allow Barrett's death to be attributed to bad luck. The question is, where do we stop exploring? Stop... I suppose you're... Well, I suppose that's all I had on my mind for now. I'm... Sorry, I got so angry. Good. Because I expect... Well, we have a long...
like maggots feeding off of dead carcasses left in the sun. Thank <laughs> you.